how to cousins down here at the warehouse and this just came in yesterday uh we're real excited to uh to get this in this is a gibson uh it's around a 64 1964 lg1 and so these were uh these were kind of student sized guitars they were a little bit on the cheaper end at the time but they've become a big favorite with a lot of folk artists and and others um this particular one's real quirky because at this time they were looking at different cost saving measures and it has a plastic bridge <laughs> this is made of entirely plastic it's held on underneath with screws and bolts uh so actually i'm going to go ahead at some point here soon and remove that and replace that with um a wood uh bridge which is a pretty standard practice on these but she does sound excellent and uh, i mean is in basically mint pristine condition uh quite excited about Let's it look at this folks uh took about three months to sell and if you're at, at first thinking am i looking at teeth uh yes yes you are uh these are this is uh this box i bought this box for ten dollars and it said dental oddities on it and look at how this is like old school technology look at that it's got it's like welded in there together holding it these are like fillings um old old kind of stuff these are all kinds of things that you would use uh, in dental practice lots of bands some stuff with gold various stuff but you know, take a look at what it just sold for on ebay i mean just look at that uh 185 dollars uh i spent ten dollars on this again at an estate sale so super excited how to how you do uh it's rusty here at the rusty's bargain warehouse uh down here at this ebay store just wanted to show you uh after about a week and a half of after buying all these matchbooks look at this i sold about eight to ten of them for eighty dollars another lot there for ten dollars and if i scroll up here quite a bit uh you'll start to see this 23 5 21 8 16 15 5 and then all these for $71. Uh, guys, uh, I'm happy to announce that within two weeks I have made my investment back and now I have roughly 35 to 40,000 uh, matchbooks left uh, to sell.